Can I keep it a hundred today? Is that still legal to keep it a hundred? Or am I supposed to just lie, lie and, cause I, I refuse to lie. When it comes to telling the truth, I have no friends. We can be great friends, but when it comes to telling the truth, I have no friends. I am not gonna hide the truth to, 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 to appease your feelings because we're friends. I'm sorry, I refuse to do that. And if you choose to not be friends with me because we have different opinions, that doesn't, that doesn't say much about me. It says much about how immature you are because everybody has different opinions. Anyway, is there a link between red pill and violence? Are you ready for that answer? Yes, there is. How strong is the link? We're gonna see today. Why, 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 why do we, why is, listen, the internet has been around for a while. YouTube been around for a while. Social media been around for a while. As well as the adult entertainment industry. But why has it, why is there, a, I wanna say, that's the word I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. Why is there a radicalization of ideas going around? It's really simple. It's not that hard, it's called It's called isolation. And uh, it's a, this, listen, there's a lot of kids that are growing up in today's in, in, in generation who are isolated. Imagine being a teenager during the pandemic. Uh, the, in a time where you're supposed to explore the world and females, their relationships, you had to spend it either at the house or six feet apart or whatever. We've seen the world. It makes sense why the red pill community has grown so much. Before I step any step forward, I wanna let you know, I am not red pill. I am not blue pill. I don't even take pills like that. I'm neutral and unbiased. I'm trying to just understand and make sense of all of this. People like Kevin Samuels, all right? I'm, I'm gonna just keep it 100, bro, because this whole, there's a lot of new words that would, was introduced to the culture. Um, I don't know if it's the red pill or via the rap, but what it, words like simp, and, and, and Chad and Matt and, and, and the rise of the OnlyFans girls, right? Now, a lot of guys are mad at the rise of the OnlyFans girls. Let's just keep it 100. Either you're mad at the money, because girls are getting more money than you, and you're naturally supposed to be the provider, or you're mad at the fact that it's, it's ruined people's morals. My brother, you're not addressing the root of the issue if you're mad at the morals part because the same reason there's a drug dealer, the same reason people become, become scammers, especially during this pandemic, holla, is the same reason these girls are either in a strip club or doing OnlyFans. They are a product of the economy in, in this world, okay? They're trying to survive, all right? Not if I ain't cutting it. That's why you guys are trapping. That's why you guys are rapping or doing whatever you do. But the only, you know, males, you know, we are always, you know, we like to think with our other head, if you will. And our other head will have us spending money and making these OnlyFans girls rich. Richer than most guys. I understand how that creates tension, I get it. But the girls will always have more money. What am I trying to say? The girls' OnlyFans 
business is always going to be more profitable than your chopping. So that gives them ego, especially with feminism and stuff where women don't feel like their value is in be the woman. They feel like it's in getting money. No, it's not. You're not naturally, uh, uh, your, 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 your gender role is not being a provider. But since it created this little tension, you know, so the haters come up to the girls. So the girls naturally respond with you know, hate. That's why they become aggressive nowadays. And a lot of girls can't even, even the ones not doing it, they're looking up to Megan the damn stallion. Listen, Megan the stallion is not attractive, bro. Megan, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You're not attractive. This is not bullying or harassment. This is satire and entertainment, bruh, for the YouTube team. Let's get back to Megan. Not only do I not find you attractive, and, and I find you overly manly and whoa, whoa, whoa. On top of that, you lied on bruh, Tory Lanez. You liar. Even if you get proven innocent, the, the streets know what happened. You're a liar. You ruined his career to save Testing, you ruined his career selfishly, trying to trying to keep yours up, like poor Canadian black man. And I don't even listen to Tory or you, but but you get to go on and keep doing your thing, go on Oprah and keep lying, while his career get canceled and he's trying to recover back. Anyway, you girls got to know the difference between entertainment and reality. Just like you dudes got to know the difference between entertainment and, re and reality. Drill music is not supposed to be reality. Think about it. Black people, why, do, why are we doing this? You live your whole life trying to, trying to go and pop the next black man. It's like Hassan Campbell say. Why are we only tough with each other? A black man is only tough with another black man. You got systematic injustice in your country. Mass incarceration in your country. Human rights violations in your country. But that's not upset, upsetting you. That's not where you take your, your fight. Your fight is with the dude who lives across the street, down the block, and you're going to go and take his life away, make his mother cry, a black woman just like yours. Because 20 years ago, Larry Hoover or, or, or King David, you don't even know these people. What did Larry Hoover do for you? Kids coming up talking about on DD or Larry Hoover. I seen Bus Stop on Channel 5. I like Bus Stop, but I hated the fact that he had to tell that kid, a little kid, a little, he can't even speak yet. And you're the first thing you're teaching him is DDK, DDK. Oh my God. This is what's wrong with the world. These stupid mentalities. Enforced by having to sit at home and, and, and follow this, 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 this wormhole that sucks everybody's joy and creates jealousy and tension between people because everybody's comparing themselves constantly to celebrities or people that live crazy lives on Instagram. I want to remind you that the only way all of these problems I mentioned can be fixed you know how to be, the, they can be fixed? Think about it. Everything that's going on is benefiting the 1% very well. The 1% is eating good, all right? You are not worried about what's really wrong. You are worried about trying to flex. Or as a man, you're competing with an other dude, sometimes fatally. You are worried about doing that, right? 
You are worried about everything wrong. Being tough with the next black man instead of the, the systematic colonizer system that is keeping you where you at and the next generation and keeping a cycle of violence and poverty going on. And even when you look at people who lead these, these uh, uh, people who got the power to lead these masses to enlightenment and true enlightenment, because you guys have ruined the word woke. I can't even say I'm woke no more because now it means that I'm liberal. No. All right. And I love white liberal dudes. They are wish well wishing people. But unfortunately, even they have been radicalized. The people that, you know, the smart white people, forget black people, I gave up on y'all. Shout out Hassan Campbell. It's only a few of you fighting the good fight. But the, the white folks over there who really got the power to move masses where opinions make differences, even they are so divided. They talk about feminism, man versus woman. Bro, life is man and woman. It should never be man versus woman. It should never be so divided like we are today. Far right, far left. Why is everything so radical? I thought things were radical back then when the early days of Facebook, people had arguments under comments all day, but we're still friends. Nowadays, I can share a Kanye West post or an Andrew Tate post, and I'm getting unfriended. The thing is not even about women, bruh. I need you to understand something. You can be cool with people and have different opinions. If you have a different opinion with somebody, that doesn't make him an enemy. He's a human being just like you. He breathes, he drinks, he uses the bathroom, he takes the number one, number two. He's a human. Maybe sit down and debate. I tried to debate, I got blocked. I got messed, yo, I argued with this girl. She sent me a video of her crying and told me to never speak to her again. And this is a grown woman, this is no child. This is a grown woman, older than me. So, you telling me that nowadays, opinion differences can cause that? How about we sit down and figure out how we can come together? How about, I was trying, that's the mentality I have is, okay, me and you got different opinion, I would respect your opinion. I'm not going to hate you for it. I know white Trump supporters. I never hated them for it. It is what it is. Eventually, I came back to like Trump. Story for another day. But opinion differences should not mean life and death. It should not mean... All right? Because if we go with that mentality, we're never going to progress. In science, in science, to come up with a new mathematical, scientific theory, phenomena, research, we try. One guy makes research. Other scientists look and say, hmm, let's look at it. Okay, maybe these variables here are interchangeable. Maybe try to experiment again, but this time maybe keep these variables the same so it's fair. Like, okay, you're right. But he doesn't got to do that. Someone there, can, another scientist can say, oh, okay, I see it. Okay, this part was wrong. So how about we redo and build, build, build. Next thing you know, we create a new scientific discovery. That's how we move forward. Now imagine this. Imagine if these scientists were like you guys today. Ooh, this is a liberal discovery. I don't like it. I don't like it. Delete. Ooh, this conservative is evil, evil. And a lot of people are, are, are well-wishing, like I said. 
I love liberal white people. They are, they call themselves allies. They wish well. They don't do much. They, some, most of them really just be virtue signaling, trying to look like good people. And nobody going to the hood and really solving what's wrong. But I, I like them at the end of the day. They're not too bad, all right? They want, maybe some, I ain't gonna lie, I knew some of them that be, they want to surround themselves with the Negro, the token Negro. And a lot of people, like, you look at music, a lot of people want to be black until it's time to really be black. You know what I'm saying? Again, story for another day, but my point of all this is, this whole division in the world and radicalization is benefiting the people up top. They don't want you united and figuring out what's really going on, what's really wrong. If you was united, remember, I don't know if I dropped it yet or I will drop it when I do edit these videos, but in my second China video, if it didn't make it, I'll tell you what I said. I said, look, look at Russia. I hate the fact that world leaders, one guy can sit comfortably in a, in a throne or a chair and he gets to say, yeah, we're going to war with Russia or we're going sorry, to war with Ukraine, for example. Next thing you know, millions of people are dying on both sides, but he's sitting comfortable. Why does one guy, why do millions of people got to die for the beef of one guy who doesn't even care about people? Who don't even have a, uh, you know? Like Putin, or this, this goes for any world leader that wanna play with people like they're pieces of chess. Bro, Putin, you got issues with, with, with Zelensky? Put him in a room, lock the room with a key, give me the key, and nobody's coming out from that room until one, one person, straight up. Only one person come out alive. Since y'all love deaths and killing so much, do it. Don't lead millions of your youth into, into mass starvation, sanctions, and like why? And sanctions too are the same thing. You're punishing the Russian people with these sanctions. Most of them don't even agree with the war. So you're just sitting up top, you're like, Putin, mmm. Putin is a billionaire. You're not stopping nothing. He has access to shell companies. He has access to crypto. He has access to millions of people under him, maybe from different countries, who are clean, clean slates. You can't stop him from moving money around. When you put sanctions, you put a poor country, uh, make it poorer, now people are more starving. Now there's more scammers online ready to hack you and take your money. Stop it, bruh. People are suffering for the one, and the people at the top get the, you know, oh, we're going to war. But when the war is done, it's like, um, casualties. It happens in a war while he's sitting in a yacht somewhere. It's messed up. But you know what would stop it? If us came together for change when, when it's time is needed. Not spend all day fighting about man and woman. Because this fight is leading nowhere. It's just making isolated teens already more isolated, potentially radicalized, especially all the hate coming from women nowadays. I know some very hot women friends. And I go on their lives sometimes. They're nice girls. But they just spend, you know, they do their OnlyFans or whatever, but they spend their lives. Mm, you're a broke n-word you're just a broke a-word n-word and like they just keep feeding this i got money i'm not offended well i'm i'm thinking back when i didn't have it words like this will make you radicalize bro that's how you end up with mass violence love is the answer to everything in the lecture i've said that it didn't make sense it felt like psychedelic talk, but it's, that's, what, that's what it means. We all come together, we live in harmony. That's the answer to every problem. 
You don't have limbs? I got you. Let me get this for you. You don't have legs to stand on? I got you. Let me stand up and I push you around in a wheelchair. You get it? All for one, one for all. Not one versus one versus one versus one. But the people at the top, they all know each other. They chill. They might tell the countries go to war, but when they meet up to discuss peace or discuss strategies in the war or whatever, they sit in nice offices with nice comfortable chairs. You know how much an office chair costs? They're saying coffee. They're getting coffee. They're getting, hey, give me a water. Well, you and I start. Stop it, bro. Get out of that, the, 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 the mental... This is new slavery. Kanye told you. These are new slaves. Different kinds of shackles. Back in the day in slavery, they put you in chains. Now, they don't put you in chains. But you're going to go hit the trap. You might go rob the next guy, sell a brick, scam another guy. And you made your little illegal money, made your couple bands. Now, if you, you go and buy your own chains with diamonds on it. Now, the same colonizer, the same guy who put dope in the hood, put these little traps, mental traps, is looking at you. Oh, he fell for it. Let's go grab him. Grab it all. Label on you. Next thing you know, you're in prison doing labor for how many cents a day? They're getting paid for your labor. On top of that, they file taxes on you. So that's like a couple hundred thousand a year. It's all money. It's modern day slavery. When you wake up to the fact that is, you understand that these, that prison industry, and many like it, finance politicians. That's why politicians are tough on crime. And they do promo. That includes the music industry. That's why they promote you with criminal lifestyle. That's why the focus nowadays is drill rap. What happened to Soldier Boy days when snapbacks and swag? No, nah, no more. People want to see real, they say people want to see real crime, real gangster stuff. No, they don't. I don't want to see it. I've been around the gangster stuff in real life. I've hung around people who took lives for real. Others being tough 24 hours, not smiling, hating the next man, ready to pop them. That's not what life is. When you really come from that life, you want to escape it. You want to do better. Not indulge in it more and more and more. But they will happily sell it to you. It's like Hassan Campbell says again. You got these millionaires who live in condos and mansions. But when they shoot a music video, they're not going to shoot it in the condo or the mansion. They're going to go back to the hood, the pissy hallways, the lobbies, the corner store. A millionaire, he leave the condo. he leave the mansion. he leave the rich stuff. And he'll go back to the hood to sell you that image that, you see what he say? We outside. I rest my case, man. I'm done. If I keep thinking about this more, I'm going to get real mad. So, <sighs> That being said, man, all right? Just wake up, man. And if you got money to play with, before you hit the strip club and trick on these OnlyFans girls that don't like you, how about you help a brother out? You don't have to. But if you're tricking off anyway, click the thanks button and I'll say I'll give you a shout out. These girls don't care about you. I care about you. That stripper might give you a little dance, let you grab one time, but that's no love. What I'm doing here is real spreading love. Tough love sometimes, but the one that you need, that you want. I really care about you. She don't. So if you got money to spare, hit the thanks button and send me a notification. I'll shout you out uh, next video. That being said, man, it's your boy AK. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. It's the House of Knowledge Evolution and Revolution. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.